Hi there, this is Sorcerer Zero with another book review. This is for Inquisitor by R.J. Blaine. This book is definitely what I would call a rocket ride. When you pick it up, it starts out on a good beat, picks up a pace, and keeps going at a good clip throughout the whole book. Werewolf reads are a big draw with me. I love fantasy. This book doesn't concentrate too much on the actual change of the wolf, but goes into the political clashes between werewolves and humans it's pretty evident that it is not safe to be a werewolf. A very rude murder leads to heartbreaking consequences for more than just the main character. Two kids who are not quite what you would think are going to have to figure out life pretty quick. In terms of characters, Allison has got to be a lovely badass. I love this woman wolf. She's racked up some serious power and knows how to use it. As the head of a major corporation, she can pretty much order whatever she pleases, although she can't fix everything she comes across, no matter how hard she tries. I was kept guessing until the very last second who the bad guy was. Oh, definitely she's the baddie. Oh, wait, is it him? Is she a traitor? No, no, it's got to be him. But then you just want to read some more, taking the book with you to the kitchen while you get something from the fridge, and then returning to read some more on the couch. Technically, the book is good. I found three small errors in homonyms that do not detract from the reading. Lots of editing was done, and the ebook, that is to say the Moby form of the book, read smoothly. The formatting was really well done. This is a good length for an informal, action packed read. My only problem was that I was left a little shaky about the kids. Granted, these are powerful children, but as a mom, I have a problem dis suspending disbelief sometimes. I think the separation of the reader from the kids was very abrupt. I'm not sure if this is my problem as a reader, but I sure hope they show up in the second book. So does this book show up as a thriller? Absolutely. Thrillers should be spine-tingling page turners, and this one fits the bill pretty well. You will not be safe reading this book.